All right. Um, you know, Berlin Highland has a great program, great tradition, and uh, I have the utmost respect for them and, and Coach Slayball and what he has done over there. And we knew that this was going to be a defensive game, and I think that first half, you know, not a whole lot of points were scored by their team, but it was definitely a defensive lockdown. Um, very proud of my team, especially this girl here to my right. How she responded in the second half, did a bit much better job of going to the hole, finding her teammates. Kelly Turner, a lot of rebounds in the second half for us. Um, I think our, our uh, leadership from the three seniors and Jess Berger um, really helped us in that second half. And uh, couldn't be prouder of these girls. Let me rephrase that, couldn't be more proud of these girls. <laughs> Kind of a typical game, though, for you guys this year, though, isn't it? Kind yeah. It you know, we talked all week about um, taking high percentage shots in the paint, and our, I think our first three shots tonight were the three-pointers. Um, you know, Holly Bonanza is a great three-point shooter. Jess can nail him on any given night as well. But, you know, when you got a, a game like this on a big, a big stage and um, you got a great defensive team coming at you, you know, I, I don't think we should have been shooting that many three-pointers. And uh, luckily the first quarter got behind us and we stopped. So um, rebounding, you know. Holly Fry, I mean, Holly, Jess, and Kelly are all averaging between seven and eight rebounds a game. I mean, so that was great for them to continue that tonight because that was huge. We knew that um, Berlin was going to shoot a ton of threes today, and I'm not sure how many. 30, 29. 29 of them. And uh, we were just hoping that they were going to go in. And we, we worked on long rebounds all, all, all week. But I think in the first half, they were kind of shoving us under the basket. So they got a lot more offensive rebounds in that first half than we wanted. So we talked about that at halftime, and I thought the girls responded a little bit better in the second half. We didn't. I did not know that. That's great. That makes me happy. You did not shoot a three in the second half. I mean, did you make it a point at halftime to say go inside and more attack? I told him that they could not shoot threes on transition anymore, and I told him the only time they could shoot threes is if I called the special set for the three or if it was a kick out, like going into our post player. We do a much better job when the ball goes inside to Kelly or Holly and it's kicked back out because the girls are catching it facing the basket and it's a much easier shot than catching it from the side. So that's what I told him. So. I guess they just didn't do it at all, but um, that's, a, that's a good stat right there. And I'll make sure I tell them all that. Do you feel like your length, they were three of 29 on threes, and how much of a factor was your length against their three-point shooters? That's an excellent question. I, I think that helped a lot. You know, I've got, I've got long arms over here, long arms number two, uh, Taylor Gasson, Olivia Quinner, they all have long arms. And so we were working a lot this week on when we closed out to extend our arm to make sure that we were in their space so they weren't getting off shots. So I, I think that was a big key tonight. And once we started to pull away and we felt like we were going to win, we went to our 3-2 zone. Um, we changed our 3-2 zone this week, and we put our three big girls up on top to stop those three-point shots. So we had Kelly up at the point. We had Jess on one side and Holly on the other side, and we had our two little guards in the corner. I thought that was key there in those last three minutes. Jessica, was there any point where you said, okay, I'm not going to score a lot of points this game, so I need to do other things? Or? Um, yeah, I was a little nervous at the beginning because we weren't, like, scoring very much. We weren't getting the ball inside. And so I was like, well, if I can't score and my teammates can't score, then this is going to be a long game. But we kind of got through it and we started transitioning more. And when Hallie was open for those two transition points, um, that was really big because that way they needed a guard that and they needed to guard our post inside. So it was pretty big to. For as many times as you've been here, you said nerves. I'm going to ask you how big a factor nerves were, particularly in the first half, because you missed four or five point blank shots at the rim. What yeah. Well, you know, you, you talk about your experience playing here, but the bottom line is it's a, it's a state semifinal game, and the girls are going to be nervous. Uh, they're going to be tight, and uh, I'm glad that they overcame it. I, I just thought the second half was a whole completely different game for us. And, um, you know, Jess, I'm just going to bring this up real quick. You know, we asked so much from her. You know, the, there's one possession where she's the point guard, the wing, and the post player on our plays, um, you know, because she, she can do so many things. She's got so many different assets to her game. And so we ask a lot of her. And so I, I'm, I'm proud of you. you. You responded well today. Did you feel like that third quarter, that's when the confidence was really there? Because you had to leave, but it wasn't until then that all of a sudden you guys could really you know, notice that you could take that. Yeah, you know, we thought we could do a little transition on this team. I mean, I know they're a good defensive team, but I thought that we were faster and we could get up and down the floor. And I, the whole first half, I think we had maybe a, a half of a transition play. And so we talked about that at halftime, about these girls, you've got to sprint down the floor, we've got, we, we got to pass the ball down the floor. And I think in that third quarter, we started getting some of those transition looks and we started getting some wide open. And 
shots, and Holly Fry had a steal that sparked that. Jess comes down the next play, and she gets another steal, jumping the, the gap. So those were two huge pay plays to get us going. I think it's always nice to have a lead in the game, but you can't get comfortable because just when you start getting comfortable, that's when the other team comes back and steals that lead that you had. So like when you have a 10-point lead, it's not good enough. You have to get a 14-point lead and so on. You have to keep growing. Carol, what does it mean to you to play for a state title in your senior year, given the, your amazing career you've had at Fort Worth? Um, it's pretty awesome because we just came off of a big season in volleyball. And that's I don't want to want and my senior any any other way than with a championship in basketball also. Coach, this is kind of when we talk about last season in particular, especially when you graduate a girl like Darian Rose, does this win kind of like help you guys forget about that state semifinal game last year, which was so tough? I think so. Um, we're a new we have a new identity this year. You know, I think for the last three years it was Darian Rose and the Lady Redskins. This year it's these guys. It's a, it's a team thing. You know, we don't have one superstar. Jess is probably as close as we get, but you know, sh she's not the, the only person that can do everything on our team. Kelly does a great job scoring. Holly Fry. Holly Bonanza can have a great night any given time. Um, a lot of people probably forget, but Holly as a sophomore set a, a record here for three pointers in a game, in a semifinal game. So we, we call this Holly's court. So she didn't get hot tonight, but um, there's still one more game to be played. Jessica, advancing to Saturday, talk about what that's like uh, just to help this team take the next step. And um, I think that we need to like work harder. Like we're working hard, but like we need to get to the point where we're doing everything that coach is telling us to, not like going off on our own and doing whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think we need to really work on that because we're doing a lot of our own stuff, and then we're like putting aside what coaches said. But coach is like trying to focus on like. She like knows what it's like to like be here and like be in situations like this, and so we need to like work more on like getting to what she wants to say and not what we want to do. Coach, did you get a look at Waterford and what they were like? And did you get a grasp of how they do things? Yeah, I mean they're very similar to us. We got a couple five ten girls. We got some good guards. Um, so. We're definitely going to have to do some a lot of homework. We got some film to watch tonight. Um, we'll get these girls ready to open practice tomorrow, and we'll come out and give our best effort on Saturday. That's for sure. Yes. How much of that is a concern for, for Saturday, knowing that they are pretty sound defensively? Um, it's not a concern. I think you're just going to have two great teams going at it, like you saw today. Two defensive teams going at it. And um, we're going to have to do a better job of getting into our sets. We're going to have to set better screens. Uh, rebounding will be huge in that game, that's for sure. How many um, girls are on the volleyball team? Too? We have um, three Janelle seniors. Hoying, Kelly Turner, Hallie Bonanza, Maddie Brandlewee, Katie Hoying, and Sarah Sting. <laughs> 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 Did you practice that? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Real memory. After graduating eight seniors last year and schools, arguably the best basketball player ever, girls wise, yeah. um, would you have envisioned going one step farther this year than last year? Um, yes and no. I mean, I knew I had athletic girls. That, that was not the question. Sometimes you question maybe their heart at the beginning of the year and what they wanted to do. Um, but these girls, I think, as the season progressed, we had. The, the junior and the senior class came together. There was a little division at the beginning of the season. Um, they got over it and they put the team first. And so once we started doing that, you know, we started seeing, okay, maybe this team maybe could do it. Um, you know, we have a very hard schedule. I know every coach says that. Um, we have no off nights. And at uh, the end of the year, it got really tough. You know, we played um, Marion Local and we played Anna and we played um, Lima Bath all within 10 days. And we lost, lost three of those out of those 10 days, you know, and so you start to question things. But I think from every one of those losses, we learned something about ourselves. And these girls never quit, you know, and so I think we got better. And I told the parents at our parent meeting this last week that these last 10 days have been so much fun to coach. I have a different team. Um, I say we're in practice and I tell them to do something and they're on it. They're like sponges. Their focus level has changed in 10 days. It's, it's, it's unreal. It's like I have a different team and it's fun. I, it's fun coaching these guys. It's, so much has changed in the last two weeks. Kelly, you become somewhat of the emotional leader the last three or four games. Did you make a comment?
conscious decision to, to start pumping everybody up, coming up? You're smiling, you're always doing everything to get everybody going. I think that in volleyball, that was always my rule because I'm just like the loudest on the court, and it's just, I don't, that comes naturally to me in volleyball. And in basketball, I didn't know how to transfer, I didn't know how to be that person at first. But then finally, I just, I just let loose and let it happen, and it's been so much fun in playing play these last games because my teammates too, sometimes I'll see them jumping in the air, and I'm like, oh gosh, I'm rubbing off on them. <laughs> but it's fun. Any more questions? Was the Anna loss the turning point? Right. Um, I think I think it was a gut check for us, definitely, because um, that was a game. You know, we had played them earlier in the year and, and beat them. I don't know by 15 points, 18 points, or something. It wasn't really a close game. So to go there and lose in overtime, yeah, I think the girls were upset by it. Um, they wanted to be 12 and 0 in the league, but instead you finished 11 and 1, so you get that little blemish there. I, I think they had, yeah, it was a gut check for us. Yeah, that's a good, yeah, good question. Thank you guys so much.